right, tactical fans, this is Trey here. Um, I'm going to give you a review today, uh, a working review, an after work review of the Tesla base layer compression shirt uh, that you see me wearing right now. It's got a Tesla logo right there. Um, this is black, obviously. I think it comes with different other colors. Uh, black is what I wear. It has to go under a uniform. Um, you know, I am coming back from work. So this goes under a long sleeve shirt. Um, this is what I wear during the summer, a long sleeve shirt. And these uh, Tesla uh, base layer uh, compression shirts. They are designed uh, to keep you cool. Uh, they do that uh, by wicking away moisture, I guess. And I think the technology is it just traps it in the, in the shirt. And then the, the, when the wind blows on it, uh, you know, it has that uh, evaporative cooling effect it actually does a very good job this is the same basic technology uh, that uh, Under Armour shirts and uh, Starter and different brands like that are also uh, using uh, and Tesla just does it uh, you know as good if not better at a whole lot uh, better price the, um, the shirt itself like I said it's a compression shirt I um, bought the shirt based upon uh, in terms of sizing on the recommendations uh, that, uh, that Amazon put forth. These shirts are made in the Philippines. Uh, I guess obviously people you know, of, uh, in the Philippines, they're Asian, they're typically of a, of a smaller bill than your, your standard issue American or European. So uh, what they call a large, we call a medium. What they call an extra large, we call a large and so forth and so on. That's all uh, pretty well explained and, uh, and shown on the, uh, on the Amazon uh, uh, order, ordering part of the, the Amazon section that <laughs> covers the shirt, tells you how to order it. It all tells you how to do that, as well as there's a sizing chart on, uh, on most of the Amazon Prime places where they're selling Tesla, and I'll provide links uh, for you on that. Uh, and also, if you go to the Tesla gear uh, I think it's Tesla Gears uh, website, you know, it's out of the Philippines, um, and they'll also uh, provide a sizing chart for you. But a lot of people on Amazon seem to make it real complicated to order these shirts. I didn't find it complicated at all. Um, you know, I'm five, five foot seven, uh, weigh about 185 pounds. I'm, you know, not really a big guy, but I'm not a small guy either. You know, I've got uh, about 16 inch arms and my shoulders and my back and my chest are, you know, relatively large, you know, for that size of a guy, but I'm not, you know, I don't have no 18-inch arms, you know, anything like that. I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, so, I guess I have an athletic build, a, a, a weightlifter sort of build, want to be, used to be a weightlifter build. Um, and these, they fit me fine, uh, just right off the size and chart. As far as keeping me cool, like I said, uh, these go under a long sleeve, uh, uniform, uh, law enforcement style uh, shirt. You know, I do work in a correctional environment. Uh, you know, I don't have to wear long sleeves. I prefer to wear long sleeves uh, for a lot of different reasons. But uh, these do a great job of, of keeping me cool. You know, if you stand in front of a fan, uh, you, you catch a little breeze, whatever, you're definitely gonna feel the cooling effect. Uh, if you're just wearing the shirt as I am right now, uh, it pretty much just, it just keeps you cool. I don't know how to explain it the other way. Um, I've been wearing these shirts for a while now. Um, I've got the uh, short sleeve. I've got um, a couple of the, uh, I guess you would call it, um, you know, the no sleeve, the white beater style as well. And I also have a couple of long sleeves. I don't wear the long sleeves too much, and it's not because I don't, they don't work or anything like that. I just don't like to wear the long sleeve base layer shirts. Um, it's not because there's anything wrong with them. It's just my personal preference based on what I like to wear, uh, what feels right on me. I also um, prefer the short sleeve over the um, the white meter style, the no sleeve style. And again, that's just a preference. It's not, you know, it's all the same material. It all, it's, the shirts are the same. It's just more or less material and more, more 
places or less places. Um, so if you prefer a long sleeve for whatever reason, you know, they both work just fine. If you want the white beater, no sleeve style, that's just what you wear. And they're gonna do just fine. For me, uh, this, this is basically a t-shirt type coverage and that's what I like and they do a great job. The material uh, itself is it's soft. Um, it's not scratchy, it's not rough. It doesn't have a bad texture. It's um, very much like a like a, a really fine um, t-shirt type material. Uh, almost, I'm not gonna say it's jersey, but it's probably very close to jersey. I guess it's not really that that soft. But then again, it's you know it's just fine. It doesn't irritate you at all. It's not bothersome. Uh, the neckline on it is fine. Um, you know it, the length on it is fine. It doesn't right up too much uh yeah you know, there's enough length on it for me to get down you know below uh you know my belt uh so you know basically you know i'm not wearing this for you know 30 45 minutes and and the hem line bottom of the shirt's right up underneath my nipples or something like that it's uh it does just fine in terms of, of keeping that so you know for us guys you got to wear a uniform you know if you're in corrections you're in detention you know you're you know, you're a first responder some type you know law enforcement whatever where you uh, are pretty much required to wear an undershirt and you're going to be working uh, in the heat. You know, particularly if you got to wear some kind of a vest or something like that. You know, we, we don't wear the, the um, you know, the uh, so-called bulletproof or bullet-resistant, uh, you know, body armor type stuff. But we, we do on occasion wear uh, what we call a thrust vest. Uh, you know, it's essentially, um, you know, protects against uh, knives and shanks and things like that. Uh, you definitely want to have something like this on underneath you. It's, it, you know, every little bit's going to help. You know, you can't make it any less hot. Hot is hot. You know, this doesn't make the sun go away. You know, it doesn't lower the temperature of the air around you. But in terms of just having to deal with heat, you know, this is the way to go. Also want to tell you, you know, I'm wearing the Tesla underwear right now. I'm not going to show you the underwear, you know, uh, you know thank God for that. Uh, if you want to see the underwear, this is not the channel for you. Find another place to be. But um, I'm wearing the Tesla. Uh, it's a boxer brief style, uh, you know, underwear, and I'll provide a link for that as well. Um, and I bought that, taking a chance. Didn't really quite know exactly what I was going to get. I mean, I didn't have a problem or any worry about the Tesla quality. I just didn't know what exactly I was fixing to get. And I'm uh, very happy with it. Uh, again, uh, you know. Nobody wants crotch rot, you know, nobody wants a swamp down there, you know, in their in their shorts. And this uh, you know, the Tesla, you know, base layer cooling style uh, you know, briefs. Uh, they're you know, like I said, their boxer brief coverage is what I have. I think they sell some different varieties. They work real well. Now these are the, the shorts are not compression. They're not compression like this. Um, they fit about like a boxer brief fits, they're not super snug. You know, they're not going to take your uh, your weapon and, you know, uh, strangulate or anything like that. It's going to, everything fits the way it's supposed to fit. And the, the material is slightly different than what's on these compression shirts. It's more, it's not see-through or anything like that, but it's a little more of a mesh kind of a material. But again, very soft, uh, not bothersome, not scratchy, not itchy. You know, you're not, you know, you don't have to constantly readjust yourself or anything like that. It fits like a like a nice uh, you know fruit of the loom or hang style boxer brief would fit, uh, but in terms of the cooling uh, effect or keeping everything cool down there, uh, right on right here with these Tesla uh, with these Tesla undershirts. So, like I said, I'll provide you links uh, and on the blog and on the uh, more information part um, of this video. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you know just. Uh, just be aware, I, I do buy and wear Tesla, recommend them, and uh, you know, I hope you, uh, hope you appreciate it as much as I do if you get some. Thanks a lot, man. Y'all take care.